Diarrhea is a general term for an increase in the number, amount, or liquid content of bowel movements, as compared with the usual pattern for a particular person. Diarrhea is not a disease in itself, but it is usually a symptom of another medical condition. Diarrhea develops when intestinal motility increases, and the intestinal contents are propelled rapidly through the colon, with little time for absorption of water and other substances. The result is stool that is loose, runny, or watery, and the need to expel it is usually sudden and urgent. Many people experience abdominal pain or intestinal cramping with diarrhea. There are many causes of diarrhea. They include intestinal infections due to Escherichia coli or Vibrio cholera, food allergies, lactose intolerance, intestinal disorders such as diverticulitis, ingestion of very spicy foods, overuse of laxatives, side effects of medications such as antibiotics, intolerance to tube feeding formulas, a rapid increase of fiber in the diet, inflammatory bowel diseases such as ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, and irritable bowel syndrome, and recent travel to an area where drinking water might be contaminated. Part of your assessment of a client who has diarrhea is monitoring the volume and character of the stools. Measure liquid stools to assess how much fluid the client is losing, as well as the risk that the client may become dehydrated or develop electrolyte imbalances. Check the stools for pus and for blood. Also, palpate the client's abdomen for distension. Place your stethoscope on the client's abdomen and listen for bowel sounds and examine the client's perianal area for redness and excoriation. Be sure to weigh the client every day and take vital signs. Notify the healthcare provider if the diarrhea persists or worsens, or the client reports acute abdominal pain, is losing weight, or shows signs of dehydration. Now that we have discussed the causes of diarrhea and how to assess the client, what about management? The nursing diagnoses for clients who have diarrhea are diarrhea related to altered frequency and consistency of stools, pain related to abdominal distension and cramping, risk for fluid volume deficit related to loss of fluid caused by diarrhea, risk for altered nutrition, less than body requirements, related to the need for a liquid diet to rest the bowel, impaired skin integrity related to irritation around the anus from diarrheal stools, anxiety from the inability to control bowel movements. When treating diarrhea, it is important to remove the precipitating factors, stop the diarrhea, and avoid or treat fluid, electrolyte, and acid-base imbalances. What is the most common acid-base imbalance with diarrhea? Metabolic acidosis, because the client loses base via diarrhea. Remember that the interventions for managing diarrhea vary with the cause. Administer antibiotics if the diarrhea is of bacterial origin. Instruct the client to eliminate foods that are irritating to the colon if the diarrhea is caused by a food allergy. Have the client keep a food diary if uncertain about which food is causing the diarrhea. Administer antidiarrheal medications such as loperamide, hydrochloride, that's imodium, as prescribed. Coding, an opiate, is sometimes used to control severe diarrhea. These antidiarrheal medications should not be administered for prolonged periods. Provide a liquid diet for at least eight hours to rest the bowel. Then encourage frequent small feedings of high protein, high carbohydrate, low residue foods such as steamed chicken without skin. Foods high in fat, milk, and seasoned meats are high residue foods and should be avoided. Foods with bulk should be added very gradually. Clients who are dehydrated due to diarrhea may require IV infusions to restore fluid and electrolyte balance. For clients who have less severe dehydration, drinking an oral electrolyte solution, such as Gatorade, may help. To prevent excoriation or skin breakdown around the anal area, gently wash and rinse the skin after each bowel movement. Pat the skin dry and apply a medicated ointment that contains vitamins A and D or zinc oxide. Remember to consider the emotional needs of the hospitalized client who has diarrhea. Provide privacy if the client must use a bedside commode or a bedpan. Empty the bedpan or commode as soon as possible after use, and then, if the client wishes and no one in the area has any pulmonary conditions or sensitivities to aerosolized chemicals, spray the room with an air freshener.